Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Michael. How's it going? Good morning. We're doing very well. Here we are, Bank Holiday Monday. We're back. Uh, we're back Walbrook. We're back Walbrook. Yep. So actually, since the last time you you saw on what day was it? Thursday. 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 We've actually managed to complete round two of this window on the uh, of the east the east window of this room. Um, we've got all the way round past the door, and we're right actually up here. We're almost into the alcove now. Brilliant. Well, what was an alcove? Um, yep. So we're just going to crack on and get some more wallpaper up. Now, actually, uh, a couple of viewers mentioned this, and I'm actually very thankful because actually I, it's something I knew in the past, but I haven't wallpapered for five years, and I've forgotten. And that is actually to to pattern match when it's an offset pattern. What you do is you just work from two rolls. Mm -hmm. So you have one, and then you line up the next roll and cut that where it needs to be so that they're lined up next to each other. And then you just go from that roll to that roll, to that roll, to that roll, and then back and forth, through some two rolls. And actually that way you get no wastage at all. That makes sense, doesn't it, Rick? It does make sense. It's a lot easier than the method yeah. we use. So whoever so, mentioned yeah. that in the comments, thank you for reminding me. Or multiple people. Multiple people, yeah. um, Also, why don't you start from the corner instead of starting from the center? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, people said why you're meant to start from the corner of a room with a plumb line or whatever, but that's, that's great, you can do that. But what I wanted to do is I actually, you see the, the pattern there? The center. The center of the flower. I wanted to line the pattern up with the okay. exact center of the fireplace so that it's symmetrical from that, from that focal point. Okay, which is the main part yeah, of the room, although yeah. The, although the fireplace is not symmetrical to the center of the room, yeah. I wanted it to be, the patterns are all to line up. Just a silly little thing, but it, it makes a difference. Yeah. So, also, also, I need to you to mention why are you using scissors, and why, um, yeah, aren't you using like a scalpel or a razor blade? Well, well, the reason is because my grandfather was a decorator. I never met him actually. We never met him. He died in 1980, mm -hmm. long time ago. But um, he was a decorator and he was an expert wallpaperer, and he used to use scissors. Now, actually, he used to use probably a big long pair of very sharp shears. Um, <laughs> and in these wonky chateaus, you don't have a straight line like a new build. Um, yeah. And sometimes it's better to, to actually fold the wallpaper into that wonky line, get a crease and cut along that crease. And yeah. you get a nice neat line. But since then, I've actually found um, that uh, using this little blade, because I had a Stanley blade and it's very sharp. But actually, the angle is not good You because you're at an angle like that. And what happens is once the paper's soaked up a bit of water mm -hmm. or a bit of paste, it becomes very fragile. Yep. And actually, you end up tearing the surface of the paper. So usually, scissors are great for that. But I found this new one, and you can extend the blade right out. Okay. And get a so good you, angle. You've broken from tradition for so, ease so of yeah, use. So in some places, I'm using scissors, and in other places, I'm using this blade um, with another metal, like a spatula. Push that into the groove, and uh, we get a nice neat line. Um, but here, actually, where where there was a few patches where it wasn't quite straight, what I did is once the paper had glued itself, the glue had dried. I actually got my cutting in brush with the colour of the woodwork, and I cut in over the paper slightly and mm -hmm. made a straight line. You can see actually there the the woodwork paint goes onto the paper, but, okay. but actually. You can't tell from it. Brilliant. Distance. Well, I'll let you crack on. Yeah, I could talk for hours. You could, couldn't you? I need to get on with some work.
So in five days, between you two and Yanis, you have transformed this bedroom. It looks yeah, amazing. Well, actually, five days, actually, I think it's three days because we had a weekend. So <laughs> there you go. So in three days, we've painted all the paneling and we've done all the wallpaper. So all that needs, you are welcome to chandelier. So I've rewired the chandelier today. Yep. It was a bit tedious, but I've done that. So um, tomorrow, I'll try and do the rest of the wiring. Yep. So all that needs doing in this room is the windows need taking off and repairing and floor lead sanding and varnishing and it's done. Yeah, so Rick and I, we're gonna start the windows on Thursday. Yeah. Um, we'll try and get them done in one or two days. And that means next week I can start sanding the floor. Um, mm -hmm. Also, t Wednesday, um, the worktops at the convent are being fitted by Paddy the carpenter. So okay. uh, we're gonna go down there, aren't we, mate? Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, we'll give him a hand fitting them yeah. worktops. And I need to talk to Paddy the carpenter about recreating some of the lost pieces of furniture that were in the basement kitchen. Fantastic. And I actually have the original hand-drawn plans from 1905. Sounds so cheap. they can be recreated exactly as they were. Sounds very we cheap. No, they were missing. Well, we'll know, but nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so, see you tomorrow, guys. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Bye.